Hi friends! <laughs> I haven't been here for a really, really, really long time. I'm aware. To be honest, I just kind of lost motivation to do this whole YouTube thing. But uh, one of my 2024 resolutions, I guess, is to take book reviewing more seriously. So maybe I can start earning some money from it. Obviously, I'm not gonna start tomorrow, but I need to start s someday. So part of that includes uh, reviving this account. <laughs> We're gonna see how that goes. If you are waiting for another video, which I kind of doubt, but um, here, here it is. And thank you for waiting and thank you for the support. Um, I do have one uh, Twitter moot that was happy. Hi, Anja, I see you. <laughs> um, so thank you, Anja, at the very least. Thank you. Um, and that, that that's kind of it, but um, I also thought that I could do my January wrap-up in this video. I am a little bit early, I know, but I also know myself and I know that I'm not reading or like finishing a book before February. I'm just not. It's just not happening. So here's what I read this month. First book was Things You May Find in My Year. I, I have a hard time talking about this because I don't know how to put words in correct in the correct order and I get nervous and I get anyway by now I hope you know that my page and my myself am very much pro-Palestine and I read this book because I'm pro-Palestine uh, and because it's poetry and I love poetry um, but I read this book when I was on the way back to my home country Brazil on the airport it felt like a crime <laughs> Um, I know that I'm very privileged to be able to go back to my home country and not just Palestinians, but a lot of people all over the world aren't, which is, which is just disturbing, very disturbing. I, I can't believe we live in the world where that is allowed. Um, but talking about the book, uh, I very much hesitate to give this a review, um, not because I have any conflicting feelings about it. I loved the poetry in this book, um, but because it talks about something that is so real, that is happening and has been happen happening for 25 years, and I, I I don't feel like it's even my place to judge this book. Um, I can talk about what it does talk about, which is like the author's life under occupation. Um, he brings up his family situation. Uh, his grandfather, his grandfather, quite a bit, um, talks about how they are seen as terrorists. Um, talks about the grief of losing his friends. Um, talks about the drones and the bombings and just it's hard. It's a hard read. Okay, it's a very hard read, even if it's in poetry and in the more poetically told way it still better very much punches you in the gut if you have any like human sympathy in you it, it's a very hard read um it's a fantastic read but very hard then i also tried reading another poetry book um by this brazilian author but i read it i read an edition that is like the poems in Portuguese and then in the poems in in Spanish. I was trying to read the poems just in Spanish because I want to improve my Spanish. Uh, it. <laughs> I don't know if I'm just stupid, but I couldn't get a lot of the poems. Like I didn't, I didn't really understand a lot of the poems. <laughs> it is like it does talk a lot about Spain and Spain and Spanish history. It mentions a lot of Spanish places, a lot of Spanish leaders, a lot of uh, kings, usually, and queens, a lot of Spanish art, and it's just like, I'm just, maybe maybe I'm just not well-versed in Spanish things to understand these poems. I ended up DNFing it. <laughs> and then I, had, I read another book of poetry. <laughs> I, I pretty much just read poetry this month. Um, and this one I did finish, and it, but it's a Brazilian book. It, the title translated means 
um, Revolt and Protest in Brazilian Poetry. And it's a collection of um, many different authors throughout the centuries of Brazil um, and how political their poetry was, and usually in protest of the governments. And I quite liked it. I liked it a lot, and uh, it made me want to research not more, not only more about the writers, but also about the events that led them to write what they wrote. Um, so it's definitely going to be a reread for me. Um, I don't. It doesn't have a translated edition, so I'm sorry for those of you who cannot read Portuguese. I'm sorry. And. Well, I didn't finish this one, but I started reading Ace Voices. So far, it's been a very slow read for me because it. So far, I, how deep I got into the book is just everything that I already know, from spending too much time on the internet. <laughs> like I, I discovered my asexuality through the internet, and I already like know about everything that the writer is talking about. It's, it's a good introduction for people who don't know, though. Like, it's great. It, it's very organized information. So that's not a problem that would, like, make me judge this book harsh. It's just that, like, I already know everything. So it's just... <laughs> for me, it's a little bit boring. Um, I, I, I didn't even finish this, though. Like, I'm, I'm only less than 20% in. Uh, so I, I I will see how I feel about it later. <laughs> and I'm also going to start before like February starts. I'm also going to start reading Stranger on a Strange Earth. Because my best friend gifted this to me. Like seven years ago at this point. It's going to be seven years. Uh, and I have not read it. I mean I started. At some point I started it. But I didn't finish. So is a... Lilo Ezra, I am so sorry. <laughs> I am reading this book. I promise. It's not gonna. It's not gonna become twenty twenty five without me me reading this book. It's just not. It's not. It's not. <laughs> anyway, that's the end. That is all that I have for today. I'll see you in another video. <laughs> Bye.